So I wanted to ask you, what's your relationship like with Jesus Christ, if you don't mind sharing? Yes, so my relationship with God is very, very important. Um, I'm just still working to have a better relationship with Him. Um, as an adult, I'm hoping to keep to get rebaptized at the end of the year and find a church home on my own as an adult. Um, having God and Jesus Christ in the center of your marriage is very, very important. So I would say that I have a, a great relationship with God and it's all about having a personal relationship and not just hooting and hollering in the pulpit every Sunday. It's Sunday through Sunday, your personal relationship with God. So that's why I did not pop your balloon. How do you define success? I define success as doing what God wants you to do because my role models are in the Bible and a lot of them didn't have money. A lot of them forsook their families just to preach the gospel and follow the calling that God had on their life. My version of success is being in God's perfect will. So that's my version of success. It's not about how much money we have, although I make money. <laughs> and I'll provide, but just being the man that God created me to be. And the only way I'm going to be able to do that, I heard you say you were working on your relationship with God. So it's to continue working on it, working out that salvation with fear and trembling all the days of your life. We're not going to be perfect, but we can get as close to God as possible before we finally see him on that last day. Okay. All right. So is it going to be a yes for you, for her? It's going to be a absolutely. Uh Yes. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match. Oh, that's cute. All right. So, <laughs> I, 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 um, when I saw that, I was like, okay. You we love see, that show. <laughs> my, my wife does. She really does. Um, but when I when I got sent that clip, I was like, finally, this is this feels like a good example mm -hmm. of yeah. what you should be looking for. The answers they both gave to me were like, you see a lot of bad examples on that show. But to hear what they said back and forth to each other, to me, was a green flag. Now, whether they're actually what they said they were or not, that's what you have to <laughs> figure out in What's dating. That's the, I've never heard a green flag. The opposite of a red one. <laughs> but the point is, is that just because they can say something like what both of them said doesn't mean they are who they say they are. Yeah. That's what dating is for, is to figure out, is this person legitly somebody who loves right. God? But to me, that those are the best answers I've heard on that show from both sides so mm -hmm. far yeah on what to listen for when you're looking for a mate what do you guys yeah say? man i think that i think that they uh both represent um what you should be looking for like you said like you know they they said some 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 things that obviously show that they have relationships with with god and uh, I think they had a vibe, man. They had a synergy going. They had a, they had. I, I could see the connection. I felt the connection off the mm. screen. I was like, okay, I see how the yeah. Holy Spirit put that together. Yeah. Like it was like a, <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, but like you said, like obviously it's gonna take time to really see. And we, you know, again, we all fall short of the glory of God every mm. day. So how are you guys gonna work together on that? But it seemed like God the center right now. You know what I'm saying for what they might be feeling like they want to do. Yeah, what so you I think? thought it was cool. Um, I thought it was it was dope. Um, it was a nice little connection. So, um, uh, I my 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 heart is that I, hopefully he's living what he's saying and she's living what she's saying. Right. That's the thing. Because yeah. if they're not, then that they gonna go back on that couch when she do the recap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're like, he wasn't a Christian, she wasn't a Christian. So you know what I mean. So, um, but prayer, Lord. Um, yeah, man, it's just man, it's so many single Christians, man. So and I'm it, trying to give, I'm trying to give examples. Cause we did one where it's like, this is what you don't want. Yeah, <laughs> the one is at least give you an example of what you do want to yeah. see when you have these yeah. conversations. Yeah, again, again, somebody can fake this. This, yeah. If somebody knows the lingo, they can sound like this guy. Yeah, if they know the lingo, they can sound like her. But you at least need to hear this before you continue on. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But you know what's so funny? And and, and I respect this. Some of those some of those balloons, somebody I remember saw something, somebody was like, Yeah, Jesus. The guy was like, Yeah, I'm 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 a believer in Jesus Christ. The balloons like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yeah. And I was yeah. like, dang, I would that would yeah, hurt me. That. But I mean, I just think I think, man, we're in a time where people are honest about their faith and where they are spiritually. They they you know what I mean? They be like, man, I'm. That's not me. I'm a witch. <laughs> I seen they said I'm. A, I'm in New Age. I'm in this. I, I don't believe in God. I'm a goddess and all this other stuff. So, I respect that. To to, to be yeah, honest, ver yeah, yeah. Versus mm -hmm. you lying and and then all of a sudden we dating and all of a sudden I'm 
at night hearing you spirit cook. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just I just wanted to put that out there. You guys let me know if if you agree that it was a good sign. Some people may say, "Oh, she said she wasn't in church yet and she so it's not really what yeah. represents me. I'm I've, I'm deeper in than she is or whatever or I'm deeper in than he is." But I would just say at least this should be the minimum of, of what to expect to hear from somebody who is a follower of Jesus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what you should be listening for. It's like you can you should be able to recognize Somebody who loves your father, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, right. Do y'all think a dating service, like a um, speed dating thing, is good for Christians? Well, I think that, I think my wife is working on a dating show. I would give her a <laughs> shout out. She's been working on it for a while. So if y'all if y'all see something pop up soon on track stars, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> she's she's really serious about it. Um, but yeah, I do. Go, I, I do think there should be some like people need help, man. They're out here just wandering. Like, like, what do I do? God, what do I do? God? Like, Mm. I do think, I do think there should be people to say, okay, what do you, what can I help you with? You know, like this is what I would do if I were you. I think they, I think a lot of um, single people feel lost. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? So do you think a lot of single people are honest? Like honest of where where they are and honest of, do they, are you ready for a relationship? Cause you can be having, you can have all the stuff in the world and you need to be healed. Before you get in a relationship, I think most of the people we know are are ready. Gotcha. They're they're, they're yeah. where they're supposed to be. Gotcha. Do you think? Do you feel bad for people who say, Sean, um, he ain't a Christian, but he treat me right? I don't hear a lot mm. of that. Honestly, what I honestly hear day to day is, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. I'm being patient. I'm um, I'm not bitter. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a feminist. I'm not none yeah. of that stuff. <laughs> you it's, just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just. It's just there's either nobody available or I've tried and the guys t- turn out not to be for yeah, me. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Because I, I think that what's being screamed silently is I don't want to be single forever, but mm-hmm. it feels like that's coming my direction or it's going to come too late for me to have a family or whatever. Yeah, that's true. What do I do? Do you wow. think do you guys think that people um, are, st- are not believing in marriage anymore? Like, is, do you think that that could be somewhat of an effect? I think there are guys that don't believe in marriage anymore. Mm-hmm. I think there's tons of young ladies who do, and they're ready and they're waiting. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of some guys that, that are just like, I'm out, here, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm out here doing whatever. I'll I'll get there when I get there. Mm-hmm. Type attitude, or they're just not there. Mm-hmm. It's literally, or you walk into a room like we talked about singles conferences and meetups. You said uh, uh, Russellin was here last week, and she was like, it "Was what a hundred women and six dudes?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are you supposed to do with that? Yeah. I guess it's good for the dudes, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, that's sad to say, but it, if, if you're a man, you got a plethora to choose from. Yeah. If you if you, if you really trying to find a wife, 